Hi, Chris. Hello. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Welcome to Monday Night Live on my YouTube channel. So tonight is kind of a fun change. I'm doing a Let's Make Art Mermaid. Uh, Let's Make Art Her Mermaid tutorial. <laughs> I can't talk tonight. I did it this morning and it's so much fun. So I thought, you know what? Let's do it on a rock. Why not? So let's do it on a rock. Anyways, it's Let Make Art, the mermaid tutorial. There is a link in the description to her full tutorial, which I highly recommend. This is her drawing. So if you want this, you can go over there and download uh, your copy of this drawing of the mermaid. And um, so the way she explained it is the dark parts with the lines in them, those are suggestive. So when you transfer that onto your rock, you don't want to put those in there onto your paper or whatever you're going to be painting on. Hi, everyone. <laughs> Hello. Yes, I have the ad. Sorry, Chris. Thank you. <laughs> um. So yeah, I was saying, um, when you do your tracing here, which I'm going to do uh, with you tonight, so we'll transfer it onto our, um, I'm going to use a Santorini. You can use canvas or paper or whatever it is you want to use. Um, we're going to, these are um, areas for shading, so they're suggestions. Don't um, draw those in. Okay. <laughs> So I am not that great a teacher at all things like this, so we'll see. I'm not teaching it. We're just going to do it together. I'm just going to do what I did earlier today on her tutorial, and we'll see how this comes out. So I'm cutting around it since I'm going on the rock. Um, if you're on like a canvas or whatever, you can just lay the paper down and tape it. It's easier that way. But this way I can really see where she's going to land on the rock. So this is graphite paper back here. I'm going to pull my camera up a bit. This is graphite paper. Whoops. <laughs> that is beautiful mermaid glitter. <laughs> Too funny. I made a new color tonight and it is so gorgeous. Can you guys see that shift? Oh, well, here, let me show you. So uh, right? Hello? <laughs> it's mermaid! For the mermaid! We have the new siren set out, and then this mermaid glitter is coming out tonight. So, yay! Too much fun with the mermaids. <laughs> Anyways, I was saying I got the pretty colors interrupted me, so I had to, you know, oh, look at the pretty color. <laughs> this is graphite paper. Carbon transfer paper. Or graphite paper, depending on uh, what you put in your search engine. <laughs> so, anyways, you can find this on Amazon. There is a link to this in my Amazon storefront. And there's also a white version available. So that if you're tracing on black, you can use white. Okay, I'm going to recycle my paper here. And <laughs> I think I just tossed my... Oh, yeah, 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 I did Boy, this is, we're starting out kind of weird here tonight. Okay. So, I want her to be about like that. Because I have this huge rock. Thank you, Shelly. These uh, Santorinis are donated for lives by Shelly. Stones by Shelly on Etsy. Facebook. Instagram and TikTok. So if you uh, want to get your very own Santorini's, head over there to her Etsy store and check that out. She has these beautiful uh, rough Santorini's or she has um, the perfect 4x4's, 3x3's, 2x2's. Um, this is a 2x2. It's painted though. Uh, Santorini. They're just perfect little surfaces to paint. <laughs> perfect little canvases. Alright, let me turn this flash on so you can see what we're doing. Okay, I'm going to tape her down so that 
she don't move. No swimming, fish girl. Uh -huh. Okay, I think that's good enough. I'm going to use the pointy end of my rhinestone picker tool, which I call this a stylus most of the time. So I'm going to use the pointy end here. But I'm going to use light pressure because when I did this earlier today, I pressed too hard and made the lines way too dark for my my painting. So I'm going to try to go lighter here. <laughs> so I'm going to start here at the fingertips and work my way down. Put in the thumb and then the suggestion of the hand. Okay, so we have the first arm done. Hey Shay, hi Betty, hello everyone, welcome. Jen, hello. <laughs> glitter, yes, glitter, glitter, oh glitter, glitter. Hi Deanie, Amy, Sherry, Vicki, Luz, Jamie, I think I said Jamie. <laughs> Sorry, hello everyone. Okay. Okay, so the hardest part, I'm not going to lie, is the face. <laughs> For me, anyways. So I'm going to really, really try really hard to not do this silly. Because I will show you up close the face of the one from this morning. Now, mind you, this was 6 o'clock this morning. So I was, like, totally not awake. So I was doing this while drinking coffee. <laughs> Look at my face. Just no. Okay, just, uh-uh. Mm -mm. No. No, 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 no. <laughs> So, we're going to do better. We're going to do better this time. Ooh, this is why I do the tutorials and not... I don't think I teach too much. I just like to play and then invite you guys to come with me. I don't even know if I can trace this like, and do a justice here. But that face, oh my gosh, that was hilarious. <laughs> hey Marge and Kerma, hello. Okay, I gotta see if that transferred. So when you lift to look while you're working on it, don't lift too much because you oh no, my stuff's not even transferring, not even the hand. <gasps> did I? I did. Oh, you guys, no, that's not true. Oh no, is my carbon paper defective? Because I was definitely pressing hard enough. Hang on. No, it's working. I guess I wasn't pressing hard enough. Okay, we're going to start over. And I'm going to press harder. <laughs> That's weird. Usually I don't have to hardly press at all. It may have been a blessing. You never know. Okay, yeah, so I just needed to press a little bit harder. Okay, here we go again. It's a little tiny face, so I hope I'm not messing it up. <laughs> I don't know how to make it perfect like hers, but anyways, not even tracing does it. That's okay. We're not going to stress on it. A lot of people don't even paint faces because of that we all kind of struggle not all of us some of us have the gift that just you know you get it I'm not one that has the gift ah uh, thanks Chris hey everyone if you're here with me tonight and you're enjoying what you're seeing 
go ahead and hit that like button for me. I like you. Let's be friends. Also, um, if you know who Katie is, Katie Thompson, um, go check out her YouTube page. We're trying to get her um, numbers up so that she can host live from her page. So go over there and subscribe so that we can get her to 1,000 subscribers. And that's rockin.kk at YouTube. Or on YouTube or... Yep. <laughs> I think Lori's going to grab a link for us if she hasn't already. There she is. Thank you, Lori. There is Katie's YouTube channel right there. So, yeah, head over there and show Miss Katie some love, too. And good news. I believe we're going to be hosting our Wednesday Night Live here on YouTube. Um, for Until further notice, because, as you know, for the last year and a half, we've been struggling on our other platform so we're going to make the move over here onto my channel and do our uh, dual stream on Wednesdays together here so I will still post those in the group on Facebook so you'll have the link to the live there just like we do here on Monday nights it'll be the same for Wednesdays so you can catch that link over on Facebook or here on my YouTube channel. So if you are subscribed and you have that bell, um, if you've hit the bell, then you get notifications for these events, which are twice a week, Monday nights and Wednesday nights, 7.30 p.m. Central. I think that's my whole girl. Let me take a peek. <laughs> so lift slowly. I oh, know I missed her eye. <laughs> and her brow. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's see. I think I did it. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm going to quit messing with it. <laughs> so don't mess her up. Okay, got the body, but I do not have the strap. So her top could fall off if we don't secure that thing. Huh? Oh, I forgot her backside. <laughs> she has no booty. Goodness, girl. We almost left out the important part. <laughs> there you go. Got it. She does not have a belly button. If you watched the uh, tutorial over on Let's Make Art, she explains that she just does not have a belly button. No, she doesn't. I did forget the hair here. So... Got that. I think we're good here. Okay, I know you can't see the bottom of it, but I do have the bottom of the tail there. This is going to be a hard one to get in frame the whole way. So, let me pull it up here. But you won't have good detail since I'm going to show you the whole thing here. Don't know. Alright, so we're going to be using my gouache 
the neon gouaches, my uh, skin tone uh, paints for the skin, and these are the four colors I'll be using from the neons, the blue, the magenta, the purple, and the yellow neon. And also we're going to be using a few of the new Sirens song colors. Yay, so pretty. And you never know where we're going to go with this. I want to use the new mermaid glitter, but I'm not sure if it'll work here yet. And if you haven't seen the siren song, here is the swatch of it and the colors. And these are out right now. So obviously the theme is mermaid and siren. These colors are absolutely incredible. And... Let me see if I can find that for you. I have an example here of how these come. So if you get the one, the full, the half pan size, Jen, thank you. Woohoo! If you get the half pan size, girl, I don't even know where my bells are. <laughs> Where'd you go, guys? Buster, you're fired. Buster! Thank you, thank you, thank you, Jen, thank you. <laughs> so this is Siren Song, and it comes in a cute little clamshell. This is a mini puppet that I've been adding to the half pans. Let me see if I can open it here without. Okay. And then inside, here we go to the mysterious. You get some starfishes, and guys, those are real starfishes and real shells. That's a limpet, I believe, a limpet shell. And all seven colors. And you get this pretty pearly tinsel, fairy tinsel. And this is exclusive to the set only. It's not something I'm putting in the store. It's only available right now in the half pan set and then on the card it's different because obviously we can't do liquid gel so you get your you get some different tinsels you get this one is a blue chameleon shift tinsel and then a mermaid chameleon shift glitter and you get your tea bag and then your six colors. Very pretty. So that is the postcard. And those are $10. So that I think is quite a value here to get the six colors. All right. Siren song, y'all. And then the mermaid will be out as soon as I'm off live. That's this one. Watch these colors. You get, it's a gold, magenta, purple, blue, green, turquoise shift. It's crazy. See the green? <laughs> it goes through all of the rainbow, the entire thing. Whew, it's a lot. Love that. I just want to take a bath in it. Okay, are we ready to start painting? So first off, we're going to use the... <laughs> Buster's excited. He wants to ring the bell again. <laughs> we're going to use the blue gouache, the neon blue. So I have it on my plate from this morning. I'm just going to spray my plate and activate it. And have a paper towel ready. And a number six and a number two brush. And I'm using Round by Princeton Neptune. All right. So for what we're gonna start with, I'm gonna go big. We're gonna start down here in the corner. Vicky, thank you. Thanks, Vic. Woohoo! 
Buster says thank you. Woohoo! Thanks, Vicky. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Thanks, guys. So we're going to do a blue color wash. So we're just going to sort of bring this up in between and around the tail. And then we're going to move it around after we get it laid down. And it's going to be different on a rock than on paper, obviously. So if you did watch the tutorial, it will come out differently on a stone. And if you're not working on Santorini, you can base coat with white gesso to use the watercolors or matte. Gesso works best, though. Okay, so we got some blue going here. Now I'm just going to grab water and start pulling this up in a way from the corner so we kind of want it to get lighter as we go up so we're going to give the impression of light rays coming through the water <laughs> yes I know I'm saying what she said but I just want you guys to know that I'm it's not my tutorial it doesn't belong to me so let's make art is where you can see the full tutorial on this sweet mermaid But I don't want to mess up her awesome artwork and tutorial, so I'm just saying it the way she did. Okay, let's get some just plain water here. Get these. So if you go over in an area you don't want it, you can just get your paper towel and blot it off while it's still wet. If you wait too long, it might not work so well. And if you're not on Santorini, it might stain. So you want to get at that right away. Santorini is pretty forgiving for a minute. Unless you're working with alcohol ink, then you're committed. <laughs> How is everyone doing tonight? I'm so happy to see you all. Thank you for coming and hanging out with me tonight. All right, I'm going to deepen up some of these rays and call that good that part I'm gonna grab this blue in our siren song such a pretty sapphire pretty pretty blue color and it doesn't take much to activate these so you can just use a wet brush and drag some of that through yes it has glitter and it's so pretty
And I'm just kind of going back and forth with it. Because on paper, it dry, soaks up differently. So on the rock, I'm trying to give it some direction a little bit. So if you take and rinse your brush and pull the water out of it, you can actually draw up some paint and remove it to give it the the light rays. There we go. I love that. All right. What do you think? So I think we have the idea that she's swimming up toward the surface. Then we're going to start with her skin. I'm going to switch over to that number two and activate the skin tones. I'm just giving those a spray with my continuous mister. Not my husband. Not that kind of mister. This kind of mister. <laughs> it's one of those you spray and it keeps spraying. It's pretty cool. If you pump it, it just keeps spraying. It's not like a so there's less dripping problems. All right, so for the skin tone, you can go several different ways here. You can go light, dark, you know, whatever skin tone you want to go with, that's up to you. But what I like to do is do a lighter color and then um, use the darker colors to do shadow shading stuff like that so pretty much just how she taught me this morning <laughs> so we're gonna go with that so I am gonna start with this light color that put some of the honey color into it so it's gonna look pretty gnarly yellow but it's really not. But for some reason on camera, they look bananas yellow. <laughs> and I'm going to put some colors out here. I'm going to pull up this blue. Okay. So you want it really, really watery, pretty much, when you're starting. And we're just going to give her a wash of color everywhere. Now, you might have to go darker on the rock because they don't just absorb water like paper does quickly. So, so I'm just going to get this down on the rock. And then we're going to go back and do... Actually, I might work on it while it's wet. So, while we're here... I'm going to grab some of the deeper color and it ought to pull it out a little bit into the other color. It'll bleed. Make sure your background is dry before you start doing this also. Otherwise, you'll have bleeds into your blue and you don't want that. So I'm just adding the darker color down here to give some shadow and on these fingers. And then I'm going to come back over with the lighter, blend it, and then keep going. And then come in with the dark back here and under the armpit, in between the breasts. Collarbone. Let me see if I can zoom in. Oh my goodness, here we go again with the crazy zoom. <laughs> now, of course, it looks really muddy, so, but when it dries, it'll be better. Now, 
Now remember on the drawing, there are the areas with the shade, the lines, that's where you're going to put your shadows, where those lines are. Let me take the flash off that way. No, it didn't help much, but let me see if I can turn. There we go. She got a dirty armpit. <laughs> down her back with some of the shadows. See the lines there? Not too far, just like right there. And under her chin. And up on her forehead, which isn't here, but we're going to do her forehead. And I think we're good. Do a little bit here. Okay, I like it. What do you guys think? <laughs> Lori, you're killing me. Thanks, Lori. Yeah, YouTube's really been good uh, with the live, the stream. It's good quality, nice, you know, easy to deal with. Yep, thank you. I'm sorry, I'm trying to zoom back out. Okay. You know not. <laughs> Come back light. Alright, so now we're going to do the hair which is a very light wash of the magenta to start. And we're just going to go everywhere with that. And then we're going to go move on and do something else while the hair is drying and then we're going to come back and do some more hair. Sorry about that focus there. When I put my hand there, it goes out of focus. All right, that's the way life is. Okay, this fun part here, ha ha ha. Let's see, I wanna bring in a couple of these colors with the purple and the magenta. Okay, so these are in the Siren Song. That's a purple and a really deep aquamarine turquoise-ish sort of color and we are going to start with that here it in there and then some of the neon I'm going to grab the magenta 
with the blue still on my brush. So we're mixing, pretty much making the purple, which we can grab from right there, but. <laughs> and we're gonna just blend them together right here, which should make a nice aquamarine color. We're gonna let them bleed together. Hey, buddy. Oh, I need two hands. Buddy's here, delivery. What do we got? <gasps> Seriously? What is this? A mug cake? <laughs> oh, I can't eat that live, but look, you guys, he made me a mug cake. Okay, I'll have to eat it while I'm not talking. Mmm. <laughs> Just... Very good. Thank you, son. Oh, my gosh, what a sweetheart. Well, he made it soupy enough I could drink it. Thank you, babe. Wow. That is such a treat. Thank you, son. Okay, grabbing the magenta. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> Duncan Hines mug cakes. Yes, please. So I'm just pulling that magenta down into the turquoise color aquamarine which I'm gonna put back in here and let them just bleed together yes I like it <laughs> he's precious I love it all right then on the back here I'm gonna bring a little blue there just a tad bit of the neon blue here. Just right on the rump. <laughs> okay, now I'm trying to rinse my brush in my mug cake. This is not good. Okay, I need to put the mug cake behind the water. <laughs> Mmm, blue mug cake. <laughs> Too funny. Okay, I'm using the purpley or blue, bluer one down here. They don't have names, so they're just part of the siren song. <laughs> so the purpley or bluish one. We're gonna play around with these colors here. I'm gonna grab this one. And then I'm doing something different here. I'm gonna give her some scales by dotting into the magenta while it's wet. And it's okay if they go together. It's totally okay. We'll see. It may or may not look right. It's a new thing. See if I take some of the magenta and do the same thing down here. It's kind of like a paint pour. You don't ever really know what it's going to actually look like until it's dry. But we can hope for the best here. <laughs> you guys see that? I'm just dropping little bits of the magenta neon paint on top of the siren glittery colors, which are two completely different kinds of watercolor. One's a gouache and one is a metallic, so they 
Come on, go back out. I mean, they have the same binder in them, but they're different pigments. To me, it looks great, but it doesn't look so great online there, <laughs> on the camera. The flash is killing it. Hmm. Oh, yeah, it's this guy. I'm going to pull these together right here. Kind of like a beta fish. A little bit. Let's do her top. I'm going to go with the magenta neon. And then we'll do some details with the darker. Okay, let's go back and work on her hair some more. I'm going to put the flashback on. Okay, so I'm going back in with the magenta, but with lighter hand and intentional areas so we're going in here I'm going to color these in so you can see what we're going to be doing okay. and then I'm going to add some wispies around All right, let's do some extra fine lines here. Yeah. 
Okay, I'm going to bring this over her shoulder. And a little here. <laughs> so what are you guys doing? Anybody painting with me tonight? Did I already ask that? Go back to her face here just a little bit and grab some of the deeper, darker tones here. And then do her eyebrow. Maybe not. <laughs> I'm going to need a smaller brush. face here. I'm going to mix it with a little bit of magenta so I can get like a little redder, ready, readier, I don't know. Give her just some tone on her mouth. It's kind of bleeding on the rock so I don't know how well that's going to go. tiny face. Oh my gosh, this is so hard. Okay, let's see. Let's see. How do you guys paint those coins? Oh my gosh, this is just, this is so hard. <laughs> How do you do that? Let me give her some shadows around her face. You know, I have all that for some reason. I just can't make that work. But it's okay. So she's just got a weird looking mouth.
And I think I'm going to use a little purple in her hair too. strap here Hey, Katie. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, Deborah. Hey, watching while cooking. That's awesome. Thank you, Jen. Okay, I'm going to do her little whatever these are <laughs> right here. Yay. Okay. Let's see here. Do some little lines in here too. Okay, I think I like the pattern that came out on her tail. Pretty cool for impromptu. Let her dry. I feel like I need more something. Maybe I'll use some of this around her hair.
and changed her hair color and gave her some highlights instead of all pink. Yes, Connie, it is new Siren Song. So far, we've used these four colors tonight. And then I'm going to use some of the golds in a minute. They're actually more of an olive color. But activate those. Thank you, Bambi. Thank you, guys. Let those sit for a minute. So shall we load her up with some of the new mermaid glitter? I think we should. Oh my gosh, I think we should. What do you guys think? <laughs> I have to ask. Yes. Alright, I still have some in the bowl because I haven't bottled it all yet. Let me grab a little scoop. See what we can do with it. Here's scoopers. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. <laughs> stir, stir, stir. <laughs> yum, yum, yum. Cool shovel, huh? <laughs> okay. Well, now if I don't go set her, this is all going to go, so I need to go spray her before we go to do this business. Um... But first, but first there's more. I want to put some of the gold. And I know I'm going to put a little stripe in her hair.
Oh my goodness. I don't know what a PRP is, but an injection doesn't sound very good at all. We have to let this dry for a minute. Can you guys see the twinkle, the sizzle while it's drying? <laughs> Platelet rich plasma for a torn tendon in your hip. Wow, goodness, Connie. That sounds painful, but helpful. It sounds like it would help. I don't blame you, Connie, but let me tell you something. You've got <clears throat> 22 friends watching right now, and we're all going to send you good juju vibes and well wishes for that tomorrow. So, 3 p.m. Missoula Mountain Time. Everybody, send some positive energy to Connie. You're welcome. I need to stop painting so it'll dry. <laughs> so I can go spray. Stop. Ah, oh, I have a uh, dryer here somewhere. And Allison, I didn't see what's going on with you, but you're over the pond, right? So what would that be for us, 3 p.m., I wonder? Hmm, would that even be tomorrow or today still? Or <laughs> okay, let me run real quick and spray, and then uh, we're going to plaster some new mermaid scale glitter on here. Okay, so we got Rust-Oleum 2X, or 2 times matte, sprayed on the rock. I did two coats. They were really fast. You should wait a few minutes in between, but, so that's a little thicker than what you want it, but we're going to give that a couple minutes to dry. Her tail's drying way fast. I love the way that turned out. 
but we're going to cover it up because <laughs> that's how I roll. I like to experiment and then cover it up. <laughs> we are going to do some, see if I can do some pl glitter placing with this new fun glitter. Oh, yum. Because it's a chunky, so it has like hexagon, hexagonal, yeah, however you pronounce that. See these? We're going to try to do placing. <laughs> I know, right? But yeah, that's what we're going to do. And we can do it. So I think this may go faster if I put a scoop up here and then move them where I want them. Yeah. So because this is in a liquid gel formula, they slide around really easily, which is nice when you're doing intentional placement. So it's like adding scales one by one, but not so one by one, because we're just kind of sliding them into place. See if you can see this. Can you see that? Thanks, guys. Actually, I don't want the big ones down there because they don't have scales down on their flippers. <laughs> Just the glitters. The little, little bitty gitter. Glit <laughs> the gitters. Just the gitters. <laughs> and I think I want to put a little yellow in here. Just to like really liven things up. Not a lot, just a little. 
and find some of the smaller glitters also and apply those onto the bra shells bra whatever you got here not the scale I'm about done with her eyes. What do you think here? Diana! Hi, thank you. My pen never wants to write when the spray is still kind of... There we go. Yay! <laughs> Isn't the glitter the best? Oh my gosh. So that's the new mermaid. And I will be putting that in the shop as soon as I end tonight. Because it's mixed and I already have 20 of them ready to go. They just don't have their label yet. But oh my goodness. Let's see if we can get the shift to go down there on the bottom. You can usually see it on a rounded edge. So you get the whole. It's uh, Let's see if we can do this. So there's a green to gold. To like a blue. Let me move her out of the way so I don't mess her up. So I got like a green to gold to blue to purple. Yeah, we're not going to be able to see it all. But I think you can see it on the rock. So, yeah. So we start with the magenta. I think I got to kill the flash. Yep. Okay. So magenta, purple, gold, green, blue, dark purple. Crazy, right? That is my favorite right there. From like the pink to gold to green to blue to purple. <laughs> and it's one one glitter. Like there's not 500 different colors of glitter. There's one glitter that when you turn it. I mean one color of glitter. They're all the same color glitter. And when you turn it. The light is refracted and changes the colors. That's. Chameleon is just such a cool, cool effect. Isn't the chocolate glitter amazing? It's also a chameleon. I have so many others coming out, you guys. And I'm not doing it because, you know, I want to make a million dollars. But I want, I can't stop my glitter. I was telling Diana last night, I'm like, I have a problem. <laughs> I am addicted to buying glitter so I'm sharing with you guys look at this pretty one I love these chameleon glitters so it takes six of these to make a batch <laughs> to go out <laughs> I'm crazy I know oh my god yeah let's see 600 grams of glitter All right, let's check her out one more time, and then, do you guys want me to swatch the siren song? 
I have a swatch of it, but do you want to see it swatched? Oh, I love, 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 love her. Yeah. Hey, Allison. Sweet. All right. I happen to have a black rock here. Or a over painted over rock. Let's just do a real quick swatchy. So this is the gold olive color pigment, not the glitter. I mean, it has glitter in it, but it's not the glitter. I'll turn the flashback on for you. This is the glitter. I'll put that next to it. And this is just glitter, no pigment, but this is a micro fine glitter, so you can paint with it, if that makes sense. So you can do full colors with it. And they're both holographic. These are all holographic pigment. This color is like an electric blue sapphire. Ooh, Connie, thank you. Thank you so much. Just a minute and Buster's ready to ring the bell. Woo-wee. He's got his smile going already. Woohoo! <laughs> thank you, Connie. Thank you, thank you. checking on that while it's drying oh gosh I love it so we intentionally did the glitter placement in a scale kind of pattern and then narrowed it down the tail into just the scattered smaller glitter so that's four colors we swatched over here so far of the far of the siren song Activate these three. Hang on. The more you rub them, the more holographic they get. <laughs> Oops. Oh well. That works too. I'll swatch down here too so we can see <laughs> the green. Okay. And the last color is like a really pretty turquoise -y.
So this is on black. And I will swatch these on the white in just a second. Let me see those up close. <laughs> they don't look bad together. <laughs> they bleed together. Where is my... There it is. They are half pans. Alright, so we'll swatch this one first. Who was that? Phyllis, thank you. Thank you so much. Woohoo! Buster says thank you too. Woo! Thanks, Phyllis. And then the gold glitter. Which a lot of my paint just look better on black. And I like these on black. But these also show up on white. So, whoops. I didn't mean to turn that over there. <clears throat> okay. And the sapphire blue. I think I did these backwards, but that's okay. No, I got it right. Purple, then the green, then the. I'll also show you guys. Somebody asked me how I did the swirl. I'll show you guys that too. And the swirl was on the I don't even know where I put it, but it was oh here. This swirl. This is the colors dry. on white nice and fully opaque you can see the hollow shift in the gold glitter here and then this is the olive color gold paint with the hollow glitters I know right they look beautiful on white <laughs> I love it okay so I think let's see I've never done this on white before but let's see 
what, what we can get. So I'm basically painting a swirl with water. It does have a little bit of blue in it because my water is dirty, but. So the swirl is basically just water. And then I'm going to take a bit of the colors that I want to see in the water. Or in the swirl. And I've got that on my brush and I'm touching it to the water. And see how the water just pulls it? Yeah, I think this definitely works better on black because it's deeper, but the water will pull it around. Water is attracted to water. Let's take the purpley one. And I'm just touching the water. I'm not touching the paper. I'm just touching the water. And then you just drop a bit of the gold kind of around a little bit here and there. But that's how you can do like lettering on any, I guess on any color paper. I do like it better on black, but you let it dry and then you have your kind of whimsical looking swirly. So you write with water first and then you touch it with the color. <laughs> yeah, Siren Song is a pretty darn cool palette. So is the new mermaid glitter that I just did today. Oh my gosh, I can't stop looking at it or playing with it. <laughs> and you guys, it smells so good. You'll recognize the smell. It is uh, Boardwalk, the same scent as Boardwalk, and uh, what's that one out there called? Peacock. <laughs> Not pretty. Let's look at it on white. Straight on white. That's very pretty too. I think that would be pretty like anything. <laughs> Accent flowers, uh, unicorns, rainbows, hearts. We're doing Valentine's Day right now. This might have to be a heart. I think it wants to be. See, I'm a heart now. So if you guys are having trouble or have questions about the new liquid gels please please reach out 
They're a new formula. I haven't seen anything like them. So if you have questions or need to know, you know, whatever, let us know. We can help you from how to seal them, how long it takes to dry. You know, these things are questions that I'm sure you guys are asking. I can answer those two right here, right now. So they do take quite some time to dry, usually an hour to overnight, depending on how thick you use them. Let's look at our mermaid. See, she was very, that was very, very thick. So she's still very, very wet. <laughs> but down here, where it was very, very thin, is completely dry. So this in here will probably take all night to dry. But this down here, so it just really depends on how you're using it. But thick, it's like, you know, glitter if it takes overnight to dry too, if you glob it on there like that. Like that would probably take at least a few hours to dry. This one I put on here just before I started. Oh, and it's dry. So that was about uh, two hours ago. Yeah, dry. See, I'm completely touching it. It's dry. And it's not flaking off, if you guys see. So the gel is sound and it will stay put. It is not waterproof. It is not weatherproof. It is not a sealer. So what you're going to want to do is let that dry completely. And then if you use resin, you can go directly into resin. Um, I do recommend a spray coat if you're going to be doing two-part resin, um, just because that takes a very long time to dry. And I actually don't know. Um, I haven't used it on two part yet. Katie, have you covered it yet with two part resin? Are you still on here with us? Um, anyways, the longer it sits under resin, things sometimes break down. That's why you get pens that bleed, uh, paint that bleeds, is because the resin is like wet for six hours until it starts to harden. UV resin hardens directly, so you have a lot less of a reaction when you use um, UV resin. Okay, hey Diana, so with two-part resin, can you go directly on top of it or do you need to spray it first? Cool. Okay, so Katie says spray then two-part resin. With UV resin, I go directly in with no spray, but it doesn't work that way. So on two-part, you want to spray first and that is what we recommend is Rust-Oleum 2 times matte. And then don't worry about the word matte. Don't be afraid of it because when you put your resin on top of it or your gloss varnish, whatever you're using, that matte will disappear. But matte just works better. And believe it or not, the gloss sprays have some sort of chemical. I'm not positive what it is. Um... But it breaks down glitter and um, metallic paint and chameleons and ruins foil. So please, please, please don't use the gloss spray directly on your work. Try to do a matte spray first and then gloss if you need to. I don't know why. <laughs> I have no idea what it is. But sometimes you could see it actually wrinkle up your beautiful work and just you'll cry. You will cry. <laughs> and it doesn't happen every time. So you're probably like, I've done it before. No problems. But trust me with the foil. There's going to be that time you're going to be having your best artwork there. And then, you know, go straight in with that spray and cry. Because I did it. I cried. Thank you so much, y'all, for hanging out with me today. And thank you, Ambassador Diana, for all your information. Thank you, Katie, for all your help. Katie um, is co-designer for the paint that we make here. So I just want to say thank you to her. Thank you very, very much. And thank you, Lori and Jen, for moderating always. And thank you everybody for hanging out and making this channel possible. So if you haven't subscribed, please think about uh, hitting that button, subscribe. That helps us to maintain our algorithm. Also, get over there and subscribe to Katie's channel so we can get her uh, live feature working. 
Um, and then come join us on Facebook at Creative Rock Art and Foil Techniques so that we can be one big happy family. <laughs> Thanks again, guys. Love you all. Good night.